Hey guys, uh, so welcome to the level 2 calculus speedrun. Um, if you had a look at yesterday's video, I did do an algebra speedrun and kind of made a couple of mistakes with it, which is very normal at this stage in, stage of time. Uh, so what we're going to be doing is, uh, well, I'm just going to try and smash this and see how long it takes me to do this. Uh, timer, timer is set, blue pen, blue pen is set, here we go, further ado, let's get started. Um, f dash of x is equal to 8x minus 12, when is the gradient equal to 4, so 4 is equal to 8x minus 12, 8x is equal to 16, x is equal to 2, f of 2 is equal to 4 times 2 squared minus 12 times 2, 4 and 4, 16 minus 24, negative 8, point is 2, negative 8. Next one passes through that, so f of x is equal to 4x4 four over 4 minus 6x cubed over 3 minus 4x squared over 2 plus c. We've got x to the power of 4 minus 2x cubed minus 2x squared plus c. We've got negative 5 is equal to 2 to 4 minus 2, 2 cubed minus 2, 2 squared plus c minus 5 is equal to minus 8 plus c. c is equal to 3. f of x is equal to... Mm -mm -mm. Okay, next one, uh, W4, okay, so this is going to be one of these things, one, two zones, so F dash of X is equal to four and four cancels, X cubed, three and three cancels, uh, minus 24 X, uh, F dash of X is equal to zero, zero equals X cubed minus two X squared minus 24 X, zero is X, X squared minus two X minus 24, zero is X, X minus six, X plus four, X is equal to zero, negative four, six. So what have we got? We've got a uh, negative four, zero and six. This is a cubic. Jesus, that is a, there we go, positive there, positive there, so the zones we're looking at is between negative 4, x and 0, and x greater than 6, that's what's increasing, ah, oh, come on, <laughs> 2 r 2 r okay, so that's a circumference 400, circumference 2 pi r, so that's going to be r and r, so rectangle, we're going to get 2 r, then we're going to get 400 minus 2 pi r divided by 2, which is 200 minus pi r, rectangle is 200 minus pi r, so area is equal to base times height, which is 2 r times 200 minus pi r, Area is equal to 400r minus pi 2, uh, 2 pi r squared. A dash is equal to 400 minus 4 pi r. A dash is equal to 0. 0 equals 400 minus 4 pi r. 4 pi r is equal to 400. r is equal to 400 divided by 4 pi, which is equal to 100 over pi. So that's the case, uh, 2r is equal to 2 times 100 over pi. So rectangle is going to be 200 over pi, 200 minus pi times 100 over pi. So 200 minus that, that's going to be 100. So that's the dimensions of the rectangle. A double dash is equal to negative 4 pi. Uh, as a double dash is less than zero, area is max. All right, uh, that looks 200 over pi. Yep, 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 yep. That's all looking good. Okay, is that question one? That is question one. Question two, we got a graph at, uh, what is it? 1.9, 1.9, 1.9. 1 1.1, 3.1, 3.1, 3.1 is the button there. This is a minus uh, w, so w means x4. This is going to be negative 4x cubed, so the shape is going to look like this. Something like that. 
that's roughly enough moving on okay let's go from no, f dash of x is equal to 9x squared minus 1 uh, gradient is equal to 8 8 is equal to 9x squared minus 1 9x squared equals 9 x squared equals 1 x equals plus or minus 1 uh, next is f of f of 1 is equal to 3 times 1 cubed minus 1 plus 4 that's what is it 3 minus 1 2 2 plus 4 6 so that's 1 6 uh, f of negative 1 is equal to 3 times negative 1 cubed minus negative 1 plus 4 there's going to be 3 negative 3 plus 1 plus 4 which is equal to 2 so that's going to be negative 1 2 uh, so gradient is 8 so y minus y1 equals 8 times x minus x1 y minus 6 is equal to 8 times x minus 1 y minus 6 is equal to 8x minus 8 y is equal to 8x minus 2 y minus 1 1 equals 8 times x minus x1 we're gonna get y minus 2 equals 8 times x x minus negative 1 y minus 2 is equals to 8x plus 1 y minus 2 is equal to 8x plus 8 y is equal to 8x plus 10 I think I've already got that that's that one there next uh, cheating this one I already did in the tutorial so I kind of remember this question uh, acceleration is 27.78 so no not acceleration acceleration is negative 2.5 there we go t of 0 v is 27.78 v is equal to negative 2.5 t plus c uh, 27.78 so t is equal to 0 v is equal to 27.78 therefore c is equal to 27.78 velocity is negative 2.5 t plus 27.78 uh, decelerate how long does v is equal to 0 t is what 0 is negative 2.5 t plus 27.78 uh, 2.5t equals 27.78t is equal to eleven point one one two seconds. Yep, done. Uh, what is this one? This one is a proof. Okay, so V is equal to negative 2.5T plus 27.78. S is equal to negative 2.5T squared plus 27.78T plus 0. T equals to 0. S equals to 0. Therefore, C is equal to 0. S is equal to negative 1.25T squared plus 27.78T. And then substituting 11.12, so I'm going to get negative minus 1.25 times times the answer squared plus 27.78 times answer here we go it's 154.34 which is approximately 154 meters okay next one blah 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 2.5 deceleration is 2.1 okay so acceleration is uh, negative 2.1 Velocity is negative 2.1 uh, t plus c, but I'm just going to call this velocity initial velocity, which I don't know what that is. So I'm just going to put that as v1. Uh, I know that I want to know what time. Mm, so t at some point the car is going to come to a so what is that is question mark so 0 is equal to negative 2.1 t plus v1 so t is equal to positive 2.1 and then v1 divided by 2.1 so this is t for that um, s is equal to negative 2.1 t squared plus v1 t plus c t is equal to 0 s is equal to 0 therefore c is equal to 0 s is equal to negative 1.2 negative 1.2 t squared over 2 I forgot the 2 oops over 2 plus v1 t so s is equal to negative 
0.05t squared plus v1t. Now I know that t is equal to v1, uh, what, did I, what did I put over 2.1? v1 over 2.1s, I should just put that like that, v1 over 2.1. So, yeah, that's fine, that's fine, v1t return. So, s is equal to 154, so 154 is equal to negative 1.05. Uh, v1 over 2.1 squared plus v1 times v1 over 2.1 so 154 equals negative 1.05 uh, v1 squared over 2.1 squared plus v1 squared over 2.1 so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and solve this uh, multiply this by 2.1 2.1 and then cross multiply, so I'm going to get 154 times 2.1 squared is equal to negative 1.05 V12 <clears throat> plus 2.1 V12. So V1 squared is equal to 154 times 2.1 squared divided by. 2.1 minus 1.05 oh no I didn't realize the clock is there okay here we go 154 times 2.1 times 2.1 divided by I feel like I've messed up something no I did not mess up I did not mess up because it's a square 2.1 minus 1.05 yeah, that's going to give me v1 squared is 646.8. So initial velocity is going to be square root of that. Okay, that's going to give me uh, 25.43 meters per second. Twelve seconds. Mm, Got to pick up the pace. Uh, looks sketchy this one. Don't know. Might be wrong with this one, but. It's fine. Let's go to the next one. Uh, what do we got? 2x cubed minus that, blah, blah, blah. So find the gradient uh, f dash of 1. No, I'm going to do f dash of x first, which is 6x squared minus 18x plus 12. f dash of 1 is 6 minus 18 plus 12, which equals to 0. Find the other coordinates of this point. There's the same gradient in part 1. 0 is equal to 6x squared minus 18x plus 12. 0 is equal to 6x squared minus 3x plus 2. 0 is equal to 6. x minus 2, x minus 1. Therefore, x is equal to 2 of 1. Now, we've already got 1, so we're going to find f of 2, which is going to equal... 2, 2 cubed minus 9 times 2 squared plus 12 times 2 plus 3 so 8 and 2 16 minus 9 times 4 minus 36 plus 24 plus 3 minus 20 plus 24 plus 3 we should get 7 find the coordinates of the other point which is 2 and 7 now just kind of thinking about this because was there another coordinates there Oh no, you're killing time, my friend. You're killing time. Function, function, function. No, we're good. Ah, uh, no, where'd they go? Surely I must lose some time for this. Alright, so F dash of t is going to be 15t squared minus 1680t plus 42180. Now that of 5 is going to be 15 times 5 squared minus 1680 times 5 plus 42180. That's going to give me 34155 per day. So that's, that's fine. That's that question. What's the next maximum number of social media during Surely this is just not fair with the time, right? What's the maximum number of followers? Um, so that's going to be when f dash of t is equal to 0. 
So I've got 15 t squared minus 16 80 t plus 4 to 180 is equal to 0. So I can go into equation F2 to 15 minus 16 80. Oh, 42 180. 74 and 38 so t is equal to 74 and 38 now this is a cubic which means maximum is going to happen at 38 minimum is going to happen at the 74 so f of 38 is going to equal 5 times 38 cubed minus 840 times 38 squared plus 4 to 180 times 38 uh, menu let's go this we've got 5 times 38 to the power of 3 minus 840 times 38 times 38 plus 42180 times 38 Okay, so that's the maximum number of social media. How many days during the 90 day system? Loose followers. Loose followers is from here to here. So we can actually say when is it, um, when is the gradient less than zero? So 15t squared minus 1680t plus 42180 is less than zero. This is going to be a quadratic. At this point here is 38 and 74, less than zero, which is here. So I can actually say between 38 and 74 uh, was actually losing social media was actually well losing followers good enough let's go to the next one uh, tangent at 4 blah 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 okay so f of 4 is equal to 4 cubed minus p times 4 squared plus 21 times 4 minus 7 so we got 64 minus 16 p plus 84 minus 7 uh, whatever that is, 64 plus 84 minus 7 is 141 minus 16p, that's f of 4. Then we've got f dash of x, which equals to 3x squared minus 2px plus 21. f dash of 4 is equal to 3 times 4 squared minus 2p4 plus 21. That's 48 minus 8p plus 21, which is equal to 69p. 8p that's the gradient uh, I've got the x and y so m is equal to y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 m is 69 minus 8p is equal to y2 now that's 141 minus 16p minus minus 7 because y1 is negative 7 and 0 that's 0 and 4 so cross multiply 4 times 69 minus 8p is equal to 141 minus 16p plus 7 which is 148 minus 16p 69 times 4 is 276 minus 32p 276 minus 148 is 128 128 is equal to 16p p is equal to 128 divided by 16 which is equal to 8 time Ooh. I reckon I could have cut it down to about 17 minutes could have cut it down to 17 minutes but that was um, I'm still not sure about this one here this one here I have a doubt about whether that's actually correct or not um, but yeah look um, maybe maybe <laughs> there's some mistakes here as well just like yesterday uh, feel free to kind of let me know if I did make any mistakes um, would love to hear from you guys it's always fun doing these things because it's just man your head is just kind of working all the time catch you later um, yeah you know the drill thank you for watching